In South Korea on September 3rd, a girls' K-pop group called Ladies Code got into a car accident while driving in bad weather. At about 1.30 a.m., the car accident occurred, and one of the members called Yunbi died straight away, while another group member, Rise, died after many hours of surgery. The other group members got several minor injuries. Even with airbags and seatbelts, two members have died. Why is this? It's because of luck. Such a little thing. Car accidents can happen in the blink of an eye. I'm here to tell you why many car accidents occur. Many happen because of the driver's mistakes, but others happen because of bad luck, like the tragic incident that befell on the K-pop group. So I'm here to tell you how you can prevent getting tangled up in a car accident, or how you can reduce the damage of it. Hi, my name is Mir Rujan. I'm attending KIS. I'm in 7th grade. I'm going to talk about why car accidents occur and how to prevent or reduce the damage of them. Enjoy! As I've stated before, many accidents occur because of the driver. Sometimes the driver fails to follow the traffic regulations. In fact, according to CoRoad, the Korea Road Traffic Authority, 25,963 accidents out of 226,878 total accidents in 2010 in South Korea occurred just because of the violation of traffic lights. Others happened because of illegal U-turning or failing to notice or turn on signal lights. Lastly, although it rarely happens, is crossing the center line of the road. This can be fatal, as cars on each side of the center line would be going at high speed, and the two forces would collide. Car accidents can also happen because the driver was distracted or didn't pay enough attention on the road. Now think back, and imagine yourself in the 1800s. You'll be chatting along with your friends wearing suits and dresses at a party, and when you get home, you'll text your friends. What? Nowadays, you have phones that are, well, smart. You can watch TV on them, text your friends, call, play games, surf the web, and practically anything is possible. Your phone is also capable of distracting you while driving. This grim cartoon I found directly relates texting to a possible death. Another reason a car accident may happen is because the driver is going too fast or too slow. I know many of you have been in a position where another car is going way too slow when you're in a hurry. So you maneuver around that car. Accidents may happen just then. So keep calm and don't rush. Also, the driver may be drowsy while driving. This, although it seems harmless for just a few minute ride, may cause an accident too. There is also the possibility of the driver not noticing signals, signs along the road, obstacles, or even people. In this case, the driver may end up hitting someone or something. Finally, drunk driving and driving in bad weather are the last two reasons. According to CoRoad, the Korea Road Traffic Authority, 28,641 accidents of 226,878 accidents in 2010 occurred just because someone drove after drinking. This is more accidents than the number of accidents that occurred because of the violation of traffic lights. Lastly, driving in bad weather. As I've said before, the K-pop ladies code got into an accident because of the rainy day. Accidents can happen to anyone even celebrities, even your neighbor, even you. Which leads me to a next point. How can we prevent car accidents or reduce the damage of it? The key point to not getting tangled up in a car accident is to keep your attention on the road. Not sometimes, not most of the time, but always. I want to suggest that we create more comfortable seatbelts and educate drivers and passengers about the safety a seatbelt can give you. In a newspaper in South Korea, called the Korea Times. It told how one sixth grader wrote in a government blog that they thought putting on seatbelts was a matter of choice rather than a law. 
Also, we should educate drivers and pedestrians more about how to ensure their safety. Another suggestion I have is to create safer airbags for all types of people. This should be a key point because if a person is too frail, they can get injured by the airbag itself rather than being protected. Lastly, the police should increase the fines and patrols to ensure that nobody makes the same mistake twice. The safer you drive, the safer your family and friends get, the safer others around you get, and the safer you get. So mind your own rules, pay and pay attention on the road, and only on the road.